Good morning from Greece. This is Fugo Mama, and I'm back. Long story made short. Teeth problems, swollen, low blood pressure. But I'm back. I'm up, and I'm back. Even got my coffee. Today we're talking about frugal living. Like the basics. Frugal living, no spend, gear, challenges, and stuff like that. Everything starts in the room that I'm sitting in. The kitchen. You can save as much as you want on electricity. Well, here's funny today. <laughs> you can save as much as you want on electricity, but if you don't cook from home, from scratch, and I mean scratch, you're never going to get ahead in savings. Now you say, but how can you be the frugal mama? Drink coffee. And I do smoke. My bad habit. And I do go out. Not every night. But at least once a week. I go out for a drink. My bad habit makes me feel human. I'm a mom. Gets me out of the house and it's like, no, I'm not talking to you guys. Because we're in the same store with my kids. And it's like, no, we're not, I'm not talking to you. I don't know you. I'm having my wine. That keeps me in balance. So continuing, if you don't cook from scratch, there's no point in saving. Why save five ten on fuel a month or five ten on electricity when you're just gonna go blow that out and get bagels? Yeah, I said bagels or donuts. Or even worse, coffee. The major step for whatever challenge you're doing is cook from scratch. This is backwards. I'm going to just split right there. It's my pressure cooker. Because it was running really late today. I'm making beans again. Bean soup. It's Friday here in Greece. It's called fasolada. It's a very cheap vegetable type food, but it's cheap. Pressure cooker is going to make it like that. I'm going to put the top on. Just waiting for it to start boiling so I can see the water levels. This is the first part of saving. Cook from scratch. Don't get your beans boiled or anything. Just buy them. Just bulk. I buy bulk beans. Bulk lettuce, like those things I buy in bulk, they don't go bad. And I don't buy like a 20 kilos or 40 pounds. I buy enough, like 10, to last me for at least 4 or 5 months. If, they, if I run out, I'll just go get some more. That's the first tip. And we're on to tip 2 in a second. And tip number 2. If you can make soap, go for it. I even make shampoo sometimes. Our water is very hard and my hair looks really funny, but not today. I use shampoo and I've already run out of shampoo. I use actual shampoo, but I run out of my homemade shampoo. But when I do use it, my hair is like very... It's weird. I don't care. If you can't make your own... There's always store brand. Store brand, store brand. If you can't make something yourself, get it store brand. I'm sure you're going to find better prices on everything. Yeah, we're a big family, a set of family of five, four adults, one kid. Store brand coffee is like two and a half, three euros cheaper. And we go through a lot. Like we need one and a half of these <clears throat> a month. So 
Think, let's say it's three, so it's three plus one and a half. That's four and a half euros a month. And it's not just coffee. It's almost everything in here. Toilet paper, um, spaghetti, macaronis, cheese, anything that there is store brand, we're getting store brand. Or make it yourself. Yeah, this is the scrub. <laughs> Third, I am a girl. I have long hair. And I'm not a natural blonde. I dye my own hair. I also cut my own hair. Yeah, I cut it myself. There's a video about me acting really funny and cutting and dyeing my hair for the New Year's. So that does save us a lot of money. My husband cuts his own hair. He doesn't cut it, he shaves it. He has us doing it. I cut my own hair, dye my own hair by myself. And I also cut my daughter's hair. That was the third. And because I'm a girl again, I love cosmetics. There's also a video about that, but just a reminder. I don't get expensive cosmetics. I get these from Shop Massé for a dollar. The only bad thing is that uh, shipping and handling is around 20. So I get a lot. What I mean, a lot? A lot. The last time I shopped, I got around, if I'm not mistaken, because it was a really long time ago, I got around 50 lipsticks, 510 mascaras. A whole bunch of these, cheek and eyes, like blush eyeshadow, and of course I sold them to my friends. And whoever wanted, it's like okay, here you go. And I actually made a profit, and I got not only these, but a lot of other things for free. Second, what am I? Second. Uh, there was a uh, food, personal hygiene, makeup, haircuts, or number five, not on two. The fifth, now we start thinking about electricity. My fridge is going to be on. Of course, it's going to be on. My TV, you can almost never hear my TV because I do watch TV, but it's never on. Like when I sit on the couch, I'm going to on my TV. If I'm not sitting on the couch, it's not even on. It's those little things that help in the end save money. Here, we don't have a library. That's the only thing I really miss. In Canada, we used to have a library. I used to go, like, get bags full of books to read for me and my daughter, CDs, DVDs, everything. But here, unfortunately, there's no library. So start thinking today. It's never too late to get your finances back on track. And no, you might not be a millionaire by the end of the year or in 10. Or you might. You never know. First of all, track your budget. That's the most important thing of all. Track. Try to figure out if you can do without a few things, what you can substitute, and if you can borrow it. No, I'm not going to borrow food. <laughs> but try to substitute things. Do you really have to make that steak? And at the same time have this fancy rice on the side of mashed potatoes? Can you do like a pork chop, which is half price? Everything counts. And just sit down and think about it. No, I'm not going to say that I'm 100% frugal. I'm 100% no spend and so on. I'm just a regular person. Doing the regular lifestyle. And I discovered by mistake that what I was doing was extreme. To some point. But. It, it has helped. 
living in Greece with almost no income for now for four years, my savings actually has helped helped us a lot. If I didn't have my teeth, I wouldn't mind. So keep on saving and probably tonight I'll sit down and do the January, add up to see what exactly I have spent. And you should too. So we can compare them tomorrow. So this is Hugo Mama. Hoping everything goes great in February. Keep up the savings, keep not spending. Do your best. That's all that counts. This is Hugo Mama signing out. Have a nice day on. Keep saving, keep being frugal, and enjoy yourselves.